Before you can add on-demand or pre-recorded video to your web page, you must first acquire the video and then encode it. This usually involves converting it to the Macromedia Flash FLV format. This movie will provide information on how to encode on-demand video. In the next section of the course, I'll provide details on how Flash video is encoded and about how to get the best results when capturing video. This section assumes that you already have some video in a format other than FLV. Microsoft AVI or Apple QuickTime or MPEG files will do the trick. In addition, many leading video editing tools allow you to capture video directly from your digital video camera. To capture and publish live video, you would use Macromedia Flash Player and the Macromedia Flash Media Server, formerly called Flash Communication Server. Flash provides several video encoding solutions that lets you encode your video clips into the FLV format. You can use the Flash Video Import Wizard, which I demonstrated earlier. You can use the standalone Flash 8 video encoder, which comes with the pro version of Flash only, or you can use the FLV QuickTime encoder. Let me quickly review each of these three options. First, we have the Flash Video Import Wizard. This is accessible from the main menu of Flash, choosing File, Import. That'll bring up the Import Video window here. This Import Wizard here is handy and fairly easy to use, but it does have its limitations in that you can only encode one video clip at a time, and the process of encoding can be both time-consuming and computer-intensive. For users who work extensively with video-based content, Flash Professional 8 includes the Flash 8 video encoder and the QuickTime exporter. Flash Basic 8, by the way, only provides video encoding here in the import wizard for use with embedded video. The Flash 8 video encoder program can usually be found in the same folder as your Flash program. For example, here's the Flash folder. Next to it is the Flash 8 video encoder. There's your Flash icon, and the Flash 8 video encoder icon looks like this. The application interface looks like this here. This encoder lets you batch process video clips, allowing you to encode several clips at a time without having to interrupt your workflow. Notice that I have two clips lined up here. One has already been encoded and one that is waiting, but I can add more. In addition to selecting the encoding options by clicking on the Settings button here, I can choose from Presets, or if I click on the Show Advanced Settings, I have additional encoding options, which I'll cover later in the course. But in addition to encoding, you can also add cue points and crop and trim your video clips. For more information on this video encoder, see the movies in the Using the Flash Professional 8 video encoder section of the course. Let me now move on to the FLV QuickTime Export plugin. Now, if you have Macromedia Flash Professional 8 and QuickTime 6.1 or later installed on your computer, you can use the FLV QuickTime Export plugin to export FLV files from supported video editing applications. You can then import these FLV files directly into Flash to use in your Flash documents. A variety of video editing applications are supported by this FLV Export plugin, including After Effects for both Windows and Macintosh, Apple Final Cut Pro, which is Macintosh only, Apple QuickTime Pro, both Windows and Macintosh, and Avid Express DV, both Windows and Macintosh. You would use the FLV QuickTime Export plugin to export FLV files from either the Flash 8 video encoder or these video editing applications. By doing so, you would significantly streamline the process of working with FLV files in your Flash documents. With the FLV Export plugin, you can select encoding options for video and audio content as you export the video from these applications. You can also include the frame rate, the bit rate, quality, and other options. I'll be covering these terms in the next section of the course. You can then import FLV files directly into Flash without needing to re-encode the video after import.
By default, the Flash Video Encoder exports encoded video using the ON2 VP6 codec for use with Flash Player 8 and the Sorensen Spark codec for use with Flash Player 7. Let me review each of these codecs in more detail in the next movie.